Miss Misfit that I stoned on uh, Instagram wants to know how did you beat Usyk in the amateurs? <laughs> Man, amazing fight. So myself and Keith Thurman, along with a few other, it was uh, 11, 11 guys on the team. I don't remember who else was there. We fought. We had the Ukraine come over for a USA versus Ukraine duel, and that was in right outside of Chicago. I don't remember the exact city, but right outside of Chicago. And Keith was 152. I was 165. So you imagine we got, I think we had 101, 106, 112, 118, 125. I mean, everybody's coming back to the locker room and they're coming back losing. You know what I mean? So me and Keith, we in the locker room, we get warmed up and all that. And we looked at each other almost like the Bash Brothers from from uh, from, Mighty, from Ducks. Mighty Ducks. Yeah, yeah. We looked at each other and was like, "Yo, I ain't I ain't going home with a loss." You know what I mean? So he went out there. He did his thing. I go out there against Usyk. He's tall, one sixty five, um, Southpaw. And back then, we and I'll tell the story exactly how we fought on the point system. And you had the uh, three out of five judges had to push a point within one second in order for you to get a point for the fight. So the first round I was winning by like maybe two points. The second round, I think the second round was tied. And then going into the third round, I was up by one point. Going into the third round, the other assistant coach that we had, just before I got off the stool, he said, hey, Sean, he grabbed my foot. He says, man, if you line this dude up and catch him with the right hand, you're going to get him. And this third, this final round, four, we were doing four two minute rounds. I got to tell it all like it is. Yeah, yeah. Back then, we were doing four two minute rounds. So this was the fourth round, two minutes. And like less than a minute into that round, I caught him with a right hand. And the right hand, he he didn't stumble back, but he definitely took a couple steps back. Enough for me to know that he was hurt. And I I did Sean Porter. I just jumped on him and I kept boxing, kept going. <laughs> and I ended up winning the fight by four points. I ended up winning the fight by like four points. And I remember that when my hands hand was raised, we're getting points after each round. And it was a close fight all the way to the end. And I remember thinking to myself, I earned that, that win. That wasn't a fight where I just got a victory because he came over to the U.S. Like, I actually earned that win, you know. And for anybody who could or wants to argue that, you could see that the points were close and very fair through the course of the entire fight, which is what, what also made me feel like I, I, it was a fair decision. You ever run into him and just say, yeah, beat the shit out of you in the amateur? No, no, never that, <laughs> never that. But I, I was in Ukraine in 2018, and uh, it was all love, man. I, I People actually talk about that fight. I completely forgot all about it. Would you um, spar him? Somebody, that was the second part of the question. Would there ever be a reason to spar him? And Would I spar him? Yeah. I mean, he's 200 plus now. So, no. Uh, but but would I? Yeah. I mean, if it made sense, you know, yeah. if, we were, if we were at an event or something like that and they wanted to just get in the ring, yeah, I'd get in the ring with them. Yeah. I like that. I respect I get in the ring with them. My dad's been having me fight against heavyweights since I was 10 years old. So, you know, here's what it is. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy what you saw because I know you did. What you need to do now, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit that notification button. Check us out every week, every Tuesday, something new for you right here on the Portaway Podcast.